Yesterday was an absolutely amazing day, painting the bronze primer onto the hull with family and friends. But, to <laughs> but today it's time to hand the boat over to the team who have invented building the pyramid. The team who can move Stonehenge stones without electrics. Zeca, Tonino and Nico. You know their magic when they can literally lift a boat just using two jacks, wedges and a lot of wood. The entire boat is now just going to be lifted to the height of the crib so that when we move the crib underneath we don't have to do it all at the same time. That's literally just lifting it, putting some wedges in, lifting it, more supports. Very importantly, we're also moving the supports to different locations so we can get some bottom paint on the places where the supports are now. This is the support, the support that used to be here. This is going to be removed and one's going to be placed here where there is already anti-fouling paint. very good that we came today and can see everything during daytime because we saw a few spots that were slightly thinner than others. It's also good because I am gonna, before actually adding the anti-fouling itself, I'd like to add the grounding plate. I just want to go and get lots of seeker and screws. L, uh, the, the electricians, Oli and MP, have already decided where the that threaded bar is going through the inside of the boat for easy access and practicality. Now all I'm going to do is drill the hole. They just made a small hole. I'm going to drill it, drill it bigger, add loads of seeker to that, add it, and fasten it to the boat. Nicky, where are you going? Come here. Nicky. Hey, Zeka and Toninho and Nico are off. They left us with the job. Well, they left us with whatever we wanted, which is painting the last bit of where the supports were. Then we're going to put the copper plate on the other side, the grounding plate, and then we're also going to head off. Probably start with anti fouling tomorrow, because that's going to be a very cool thing to do. Front hasn't been lifted yet, just the supports have been removed for us to be able to paint. So let's get into that. Then we can go home and have Arturo's pizza. The plate is now on. I think this has been the messiest seeker job ever as we had to bend it and I smacked my lip, which is why we stopped filming because I was in a bad mood. I still am. I'm very happy this is in place. Luke's going over the paint one more time where the supports used to be. That should be a very quick job. There's one, well, a few places. I'm very happy that that plate's in place. Looking forward to tomorrow where we can at least get some anti-fouling on already. As you can see behind us, we've got the whole team again. You can see the boat is completely, well the underwater line is completely painted with deep bronze base paint. What's the plan now? We're ready to start painting the anti-fouling. We have a big team. We are 12 hands. Something like that. 12 hands working that makes the work go very fast. We were surprised how it went with the bronze. I still didn't say this to the camera, but that they were painting the bronze was one of my favorite days that I ever had here in the shipyard because we had our friends and family over, the vibes were so high and it made me realize what we are about to leave very soon, which is launching Yaba. 
back to the sea. And we've managed to copy that today with the anti-fouling paint. Do any of you know what color the anti-fouling is going to be? Comment below before we tell you if you know what it's going to be. Or even if you don't know, guess. I'm going to make it easier. There were four colors that we could choose from. Red, black, blue and brown. What did we choose? I'm going to open it in three seconds. Three, two, one. And the color of the anti-fouling is... Is... Well, you can't tell, but it's blue. So let's get mixing and painting because we've got a lot of un impatient hands over there. Here we've got upstairs is Orly working on many things as usual. Arturo, Luigi, my mom Tess, and then Pete's mom, Shashi. Woo! Let's go. Ah, there it is. <laughs> Let's do this. the last week is are you not gonna paint anti-fouling the thing is this product the anti-fouling shouldn't be exposed to weather for more than seven days so we were waiting until the last minute that we know we're splashing in less than seven days and how exciting is that The color journey, you know that to choose the Alaska white, it took us more than two years to finally define. We didn't want to take that long with the anti-fouling. Uh, at first, Ben wanted red, and as my favorite color is blue, I have always voted for blue. And for the product we wanted uh, to buy at the shop, they said they only had blue or black. So Ben ended up choosing blue as well, because we prefer blue over black. And then after, we actually could do red or brown as well, but then Ben was already convinced with the blue and I hope he's happy with it because I am so happy with it. I think it's such a beautiful shade of blue. And the technician said to us that there is a downside to the blue because with time it can turn greenish. But for us that was actually an upside because we have green all over the boat. So we're just happy with the color. Besides the color that I'm very happy with, I'm also happy with this product because it's free of TBT, which would be more aggressive to sea life. So this way it's kind of an in-between of keeping our boat safe from the turtle worms and all the limpets, but at the same time not harming the place we love the most. <laughs>
The entire boat has one layer of anti-fouling on absolutely everywhere. What we did do is underneath the keel, we just went under to put a total of three layers under because soon the crib's gonna go on and we won't have access to some points under that keel. We don't know where, so three layers under there. If anything, we can add some more when it's on there. Also, we have three layers over here by the tape. We don't wanna keep the tape on long because if we keep it on long, the glue, not yet, luckily, will stick on even though the tape's off and it's just a pain to be scrubbing that soon. So now, three coats of anti-fouling under the paint as well. I'm gonna remove this tape soon. That's gonna be super satisfying. Barbecue is going on, which is also super nice. Arturo's taking care of that, rewarding everyone for their help, which has been super, super helpful. Yesterday, the full boat in bronze. Today, the full boat in the first coat of anti-fouling. So tomorrow, one more layer. After tomorrow, the third coat. We're on, we're on schedule. We are having a family Sunday here at the yard. After painting, we had a nice barbecue. It was very nice. The boat's looking super pretty, but I'm sure it's gonna look even better when we remove the tape. And so that's fine. I wanna do that. Now? Now. Can you catch it at tinta? No, ninguém quer tirar tinta. Só so early. No. Ah, a fita? Sim. Fita, fita, fita. I said a mistake. I said, who wants to remove the paint? Not me. Wait, and it's on the other side as well. And it goes. Ah. All right, now he's keen. Ready? Ready? Oh, I always thought it. Go. Faster, MP. He's, he's winning. Faster, MP. Loic's way ahead of you. Okay. I'm doing a better job. <laughs> How does it feel? Like how straight it is. Are tall enough? <laughs> I think I'm taller now. Done. Okay, stand back and have a look. You you deserve it. This morning, since I woke up, my heart, I feel that it is right here on my neck. I think I forgot how to breathe. I'm so nervous because this is a crazy maneuver, putting the crib under the boat, but also because I realize what it means to bring the crib under the boat. It means that we are about to go to the water after three years and four months and a couple of days. I cannot believe this day has arrived. It really still feels unreal. I need to remember how to breathe. So this day can be a little uh, less stressful for me. I am super happy. I'm happy more than anything else. But yeah, I am nervous. <laughs> the plan now is to kind of, well, the boat's already been lifted. You've seen all that. The plan is to get this crib completely under there now. You can see that we've got one of these here and that's a bridge over each of these pieces of wood. You might have seen it in some previous episodes. If not, don't worry because you're going to see it soon. We're going to have a few people, maybe we'll have backup later, maybe not, we'll see, already painting the hull again with another layer of anti-fouling, another coat. I'm going to have to do some welding today because it's super important. It's underneath the platform and we won't have access, but 
step by step, I think we're going to get a lot done. So enjoy this because this is a super exciting moment for us to actually have the boat on a crib again. So I hope it's as exciting for you as it is for us. And I hope you have as much fun watching this as we will. And I hope you're less nervous because it's nerve -wracking. We have Ben painting the second layer of the antifoli. Oh, that was close. Cool. Is that on camera? <laughs> well, we also have Zeka, Nana, Toninho, the team here, preparing Yaba to be under that crib. So we're lifting Yaba, the crib will move here to support Yaba, so Yaba can start moving to the river. Loads of things happening at the same time, and I cannot tell what is more exciting. If you're wondering this beautiful, not straight line of tape that we've drawn, it's just to give us a dead a, a limit not to go over it because this already has enough coats on. So as long as we got to here, we're fine. So we don't mess up this beautiful real line. I don't worry. It's not supposed to be straight and beautiful. All we need to do on this side is the keel, then we can move over to the other. Você já fez isso, Toninho? Tchau, como carne Só que nenhum é igual ao outro. A cabeça fez a versatilidade, a, a longe de colocar as peças. Mas vai dar tudo certo? Vai. <risos> já deu, né?
What is that doggy doing? Chasing drone shadows. I'm actually not filming anything. I'm just playing with him. <laughs> you got it. <laughs> Third coat. Nice and impractical, these stainless wires, these metal wires. In my opinion, we didn't have enough people working on the boat, so we called up Apache. In fact, I was about to weld and he called up saying he's got a day off. Hey. So look at that beautiful mount he's going to weld. You miss me? <laughs> And this is why, if you can, you pay for a welder. And you don't do it yourself. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you need a bread some more. <laughs> now that we've got both of these supports in place, well, they were in place, we've got an extra beam going vertical to give it a bit more structure. Apache is just grinding down a little bit of the metal plate to install three anodes on each side. No, no, está mal, claro. Everything calculated by the millimeter. I can't believe it. Calculado no millimeter. The crib just made it under your back, the first part. Everything going well. If I could show the corner of the screen my heart rate right now, you'll be impressed. <laughs> well, we have down here. Uh, Toninho, Zeca, Nana and Moises working on the magic of putting the crib under Yaba. Up there we have Nico making Yaba prettier for her big day. We're painting now the housing area, the superstructure. It was just on the primer, it was grey, but that's not the final color. The final color is the same Alaska white that we used on the hole and that's what Nico is working on. So Yaba is with her newest clothes for her launch.
I think she's looking stunning. I think she's looking so pretty. What I mean by pretty is the result of everything that was done in this last three and something years. She's looking great. Like a phoenix. Patch finish this one and I'll do the some stuff on the other one. So much has been done today, the crib, the anti-fouling, the platform supports and one thing that's really missing on this trans uh, transom is an exhaust. I have the exhaust tube already, 4 inches which goes in the same size hose that the muffler is on. However, I need to drill the hole still and then once I've drilled this hole I can give it back to the welder for him to finish it off so we can install it. This is what I think the hole should be. Now, uh, I don't know how I'm gonna drill it yet. I also don't want it to be tight around this tube, so I'm gonna drill, the, drill it a bit wider because the tube might be hot. I don't want anything hot. Just safety reasons, you don't want it to be touching the wood. So that's why we've got that flange, which is gonna be placed on this tube on the outside to hold it in place. Hey. Hey. Ah. Okay, I think it's allowed to get a little bit lower, but I've just got the first, this is the, di the angle it's already going to be at, so that's pretty good. Now the easy bit. 
So this way the exhaust is in a slight decline downwards so water has to climb in it, if you see what I mean. Even though we have a muffler and a siphon and stuff, this is going to be it. And this water line should be a little bit high. It's all working on our side. And if that doesn't work, we'll invent something else inside the boat. Yabba is almost where she belongs. She's finally on top of the crib. I'm not going to say it went without any stress, but I would like to thank the entire team who was involved with getting that crib moved to make it go as smoothly and as stress-free as possible. Even though the boat is already on the crib, there is a long journey to go, which is getting that crib into the right position for the boat to be able to launch and as I just said to get the boat launched. Of course there's still a million things that we have to go after and install before launch just like the exhaust and probably a lot of other things. We've been working until late to get as many of those jobs done as possible today. Can we get all of them done before hitting the water? Let's find out. To all our patrons, I hope you enjoy the live footage and all the up-to-date action. And welcome to the crew, Nicholas, Ryan, Reis, Leslie, Barrett, Mad BKR, and Steve. Thanks for joining us on Patreon. And Terence, Joseph, David, and Olivier, thank you so much for the PayPal donation. It really means a lot to us. And Jay Davis, Marco Antonio, James, Michael, Douglas, Pedro, Ram, Better Alpha, Henry, Nathan, Deborah, Dewey, Joseph, and Edward, thank you so much for supporting us through the super thanks on YouTube. It means a lot to us. And uh, I don't know about you, but let's find out what's going to happen with the boat in the next episode. <laughs>